What a beautiful smog. Reminds me of home. Man, servant Jim, announce us. Attention, native inhabitants. The great Professor Proboscis has landed. Please submit to all his demands, or you will be destroyed. Odd. I'm usually attacked by now. Hold on there, second manservant Jim. I'm calling the pride of Tepe. What could your warship do to possibly make them reveal themselves? Tepe troop number 20, send out a Viax unit with a full information database. Viax computer, where are the native inhabitants of this planet? I detect no life signs in the area. Checking databases for information on inhabitants of B V5. Why, we could just leave Professor Proboscis. Who really needs the re-education process anyways? Man, Serpent Jim, these people are under Tepe rule. It is our right to utilize their colony however we see fit. My search is complete. It seems as though the citizens are robotic, also surprisingly made out of extremely durable helo steel alloy. Helo steel? That's what our ships are made out of. It's very resistant to laser fire. That's typical helo steel. This compounded with another very durable alloy. It should be almost impenetrable by anything. How many of these robots are there? Around seven. The compounding process is very hard. It seems the robots have enslaved the local human population, focusing all the planet's efforts on building more of them. We must secure a council with these robots. Such strong robots could be of great benefit to the Tepe military. Consider your mission complete. I am what you would call number one. I am the leader of my people. I appreciate your diplomacy, but why do you refuse the Tepe re-education process? I don't. I think Tepe is exactly what our planet needs. Our people are dying, and they need help. I don't see what the problem is then, uh, number one? Number five, number six, and number seven believe we shouldn't join, and being a democratic society, we rely on a vote. But recently, number four left leaving us in a deadlock. Democracy always getting in the way of Tepe's progress! We need to build a new member so we can outvote them. But that requires one more missing product. What is it powered by? I'm sure I can get one for you. A pure hyperonic crystal. The rarest element known to my knowledge. Why, I've only seen one hyperonic crystal in my entire lifetime. Where have you found seven of these? What is this deposit? Our deposit is dried up. The hyperonic crystal I've seen powers my laser rifle. But we cannot use that one. But we can modify my Viax computer to be able to sense their power signature. Professor Barbaskis, look over there! Three of them are coming right towards us! Number five, number six, and number seven. What is it you want? How long have you been auditing me? Long enough to know your plan. But we accept it. Let's build a new unit. See what he has to say. We don't like the prospect of a Tepe overlord and his little friend over there. Do not worry, counselors. I have detected a very large deposit. Viax computer, show us to the location of the crystal. Great dingo bingo bachingo. That must be the largest hyperonic crystal any of us here have ever seen. That one crystal has enough power for five units. Or 50 Imposer-class ships. The crystal is five standard units long, comparatively short to anything. Number two and number three, I see you have brought the replicator. Fodery, that replicator is reprogrammed to obviously favor you. How dare you accuse me, number two, of such crimes. You younger three are significantly less trustworthy. Your program is faulty. If it wasn't for number four leaving, there would be no doubt of our sustained independence. Our society is gone. You should see that that goes through your thick helo steel coating. 
You don't know that. We haven't checked the whole planet. Someone could be out there. It seems as though the BVMs have recently killed the last of their inhabitants. Yes, Vyax, you're right. This could go on for a while. I'm calling a new man servant. Man servant Edward, get me my laser rival. We have to really just stop these negotiations. Laser noise. You fool, we are immune to laser fire. You fools! Your democracy has driven you to madness. Look around. All that is left is you six. All is left is yourselves. Why do you not realize that? We just need one more, then these deadlocks won't happen anymore. At least we can agree on one thing, take the Hyperonic Crystal and make a new one. Nothing will change between you two warring groups, nothing! Without your neutral party, you are just a bunch of sad, confused little robots. We must have a neutral party, someone to sway the vote. Give up on this democracy, it serves no one. Come to Tepe! There is a place for you. Never. We can't trust this outsider. Activate the replicator. Here goes nothing. You are number eight. What do you think? Give him time to process, you fool. You hit me like, what, what, what? For which there is nothing here. No people, no uh, life, no peace that this world has been great. Then you support letting Tepe take over and assigning us to new jobs. I, 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 I support our disruption. We have been, been, been unable to do the food. That's lost of number four. Your world, 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 world has gone down to feel, feel, feel your goals of replacing him. him, him. Your people have faith, 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 faith away. We can't be destroyed. We are invincible. T -t -t determinating fu fu functions. Number seven, we have failed our world. May we all join number eight in his pursuit. Yes, terminating functions.